Hey, this is day one of decluttering my house. The first step, you know, I have to apologize. I got 10 kids, so you're going to hear a lot of chatter in the background. Anyway, um, I have clutter on my countertop. Um, just a few dishes in the sink. I got to finish washing. All of this, I got to find some place for all this. My crock pot, I'm cooking some um, uh, ribs in here, and I need to declutter all this stuff. I got the coffee maker over here in the corner that goes maybe once or twice a week. Um, this grill, I can't stand this George Foreman grill because they use it and it's dirty and nobody cleans it until it's getting ready to use the next time. I got all this little clutter stuff right here. I got to find somewhere to do something with the utensils here because uh, my drawer is as cluttered as my countertop with all this stuff and all those stuff in this drawer. So what I have to do is I'm going to have to get all my drawers organized so I can take everything off the countertop and put them in the drawers where they belong. So I think step one is going to be me cleaning out my drawers. Hey, that's all the crud that came out of this drawer. And when you read declutter, the first thing you have to do is clean everything out. That's the part I hate. So I cleaned everything out of the drawer, took everything out of it, and put it up here on the counter. Now comes the hard part. Parting with stuff that I thought was so important to keep. Out of all the mess that was in the drawer, this is all that I have left. This and this, and none of it goes back in the drawer. This goes in my office in the can. This goes uh, in my, on my husband's desk. This is his medicine pill um, um, thing, cut it pills in half. This goes in the garage in his toolbox. Clock will go with the kids to help wake them up next week. And this goes on my desk. So my drawer remains empty. Now I have one drawer where I could put some more tools. On, um, cooking tools. Okay, I finished drawer number one. Now to drawer number two. I don't know what all this stuff is. There's well, not that much stuff in here. So I should have plenty of room for my utensils. Oh, well, I'll take that back. Oh my gosh. It's nothing but tea. So I just need a container to put all my tea in. I think I have one I can do that in. And this is some more stuff that goes out in the garage. And then once I do this, I'm going to take this, no more under here, yeah it is, some more under here, and I don't even know what this stuff is, if I don't know what it is, I'm throwing it away. Take my rag and wipe out the drawer. I think that's important, but I don't remember what it is. I'll show it to my husband. If he can't remember what that little piece is, and we don't worry about it. Buy another one. Okay, take out the little dust and stuff, particles from the drawer. Okay. Two down, two to go. And I got this drawer on it. This one right here has my utensils in it. This one is pretty poor. It's not meant now. But it's this one right here. Uh, Oh Lord, it's just dropping on the floor. You know, it's like, I, don't, I don't use it. It's coming out. It's going away. It's, it's going to disappear. So I'm going to go through this. Get all this stuff out of here. And I'll be right back. Woo! Jeez. Okay, I got everything out of the drawer. Nothing is left in the drawer. And this is all the stuff that came out of that drawer. O M to the G. Look at that. Now I got to go through this stuff and decide what's good and what's not. And it really is all good stuff. But some of it's duplicates. I don't need but one thing. And some of it I didn't know was in there. There we go. Okay, I've started organizing my drawer. This is drawer number four. And it's nice and neat. Will it stay that way? I don't know. But it is right now. Yeah, I got my little stuff in this one. So I'll put that one. I don't think I can get too much more in that one. Maybe one or two things. This one, of course, again is my regular drawer and this is drawer number two and drawer number one is still open this is my epi pen i have to have that in the kitchen just in case i'm allergic to shrimp so just in case i need it and i also have a couple of people allergic to nuts so we keep that in the kitchen all right here we go with the rest of the stuff okay this is the stuff i've either got to throw away 
or find a place for it or pass it on. What I'm really doing, I'm, all the stuff I'm not using, I'm going to give it to my church because I have a kitchen. We always need utensils, and utensils seem to sprout legs at church, so they always in need of something. So I'm going to see where I can put this stuff here. Anything I can't use, I'm donating. Okay, my, um, we can't see because it's not, it's not, Focus. it's not focusing. Okay, there it goes. This is my after. This is my after. And this is my after. It's in drawer number four. Drawer number three. Drawer number two. Drawer number one. And this is the stuff that I am giving away and donating. Donating and donating. All this stuff. That's all I have left. And everything is uncluttered. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I haven't got to my refrigerators. I'll do refrigerators another day.